Hey everybody, uh, it's Rob from UIT. Uh, today we're going to talk about sessions and how we can use sessions in Node.js. So what are sessions exactly? Uh, well, sessions are data that is stored on the server side uh, that's accessed via the client through a unique session ID. Now what happens is the uh, session uh, ID is stored on the client side and whenever a website is accessed, this uh, session ID is passed in and then the server actually uses that session ID to retrieve the necessary information out of its internal database. Uh, sessions aren't typically considered to be a long-term solution. In fact, they're not considered to be a long-term solution. Uh, so they're commonly used for storing user login information, which is typically killed when the browser is as well. Uh, so you can see the completed product at uh, github.com slash robmyers82 slash UIT tutorial node sessions. Uh, so let's go ahead and check it out and see if uh, we'll build out this project here. So there's four dependencies uh, for the project, which are Express, EJS for rendering, Body Parser for being able to use our form data, and Express Session, which is what we'll use for actually working with our session. So I've already gone ahead and created the scaffolding for the display here. Uh, there's just one J uh, jQuery call. Uh, which has a listener on a submit button, which takes an email password, uh, sends a post uh, Ajax call to our login route, which we're going to create, uh, and then send back the word done if it does, and sends us to the location of logged, uh, which is going to be where we see our logged page. So uh, typical form down here with an email and password, uh, nothing new there. So let's take a look at the server.js here. Uh, so we're requiring our three dependencies up top, which are express, express session, and body parser. Um, then we are creating our Express app, registering our middleware for our EJS and for our body parser. And next up, what we want to do is we want to register our middleware for sessions. So we're going to do that using app.use. This time we're going to use session, as we called it up top. Um, we're going to pass in an object into that call. Uh, that object's going to have one attribute, which is called secret. Uh, we're going to make the secret I love UIT. Okay, so that's all we need to uh, set up our middleware for sessions. So now how can we actually use sessions moving forward? Uh, so sessions are actually going to be stored in the rec.session object, uh, which will be passed in and stored based on the user that's, uh, that's accessing the server. So let's go ahead and create our login route here. So login is going to be super easy for our purposes. We're going to assume that our users are very nice and they are putting in nice clean data here. Uh, we don't have to do any error checking at all. So let's get started by actually adding our two passed in variables, which are email and password, into the session. So rec.session.email equals rec.body.email, which is passed in and processed through body parser and rec.session.password equals rec.body.password. Once that's done, we're just going to uh, end the route here and send back the word done. So that's our login route for now. Um, so let's go ahead and see how we can actually see this in action. So let's uh, create our next two routes, which are for our main view and our log view. Uh, so for our main view, we're going to be using our index.html EJS file, and we're also going to be using our session variables. So what we want to do actually is we want to check if there's an email session variable set. And if there is, we're going to show a different, slightly different view from what we're showing if it's not set. So if rec.session.email, checking if it's set, then we want to redirect them to the logged page actually. So let's go res.redirect logged and that's all we need for that. And if there's no email set, we just want to render our page. Similarly for logged, we're going to have an if statement. So if rec.session.email check if it's set. If it is set, we are going to actually write out a bit of code here. So h1, and we're going to add an anchor tag with the logo page. It's not perfect HTML, but it'll work for us. And then below that, res.end. And I'm actually going to cut this off here, and we'll rejoin in part two, where we're going to finish this off and test.